Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving my top five reasons why I don't do time out and I don't do the next step. So the first reason is I don't believe it allows them to solve problems for themselves. So if I immediately send my child off for time out after they've done something wrong or to the naughty step, I don't think it, they really get an opportunity to understand what they did wrong, why, and what they could do better. And I think it takes away their learning opportunity and their opportunity to control their behavior and figure out for themselves what they could do better next time. And I believe any time your child does something wrong, it's a teachable moment. You know, as a mum, as a dad, it's a moment to teach them what's right, what's wrong, you know, why you think it was wrong, what they could do better next time and give them an opportunity to problem solve for themselves. The real benefit of that is they learn to rectify their own mistakes you know if, if they learn internally you know okay I did something wrong what's the consequence um, what can I do to put it right you know you're giving them an opportunity in their mind by asking them that question what can you do to put it right you're giving them an opportunity to figure that out for themselves and also giving your child that opportunity to put it right it means that they can feel some pride in themselves once they've done it that pride is something that really makes them feel good about themselves, you know, and turns it into positive when it started off as such a negative thing. So my second reason is I don't really believe it helps them understand right from wrong. So when children do things wrong, they're testing us, you know, they're testing to see what the outcome's going to be. You know, if I do this, what was mummy going to do? You know, what is the consequence going to be? You know, what's going to happen at the end of it? They're always testing their environment and everything in their environment you know to figure things out so my job as a mom is to guide them into understanding what is right what is wrong why it's wrong and what they can do better next time and this is done in conversation with my daughter so I'll get down to her level face to face and I'll talk to her as calm as I can be and try and explain what happened what she thought happened you know what could she do next time what can she put it right and they learn right from wrong you know in those moments with you you know as their guide so my third reason I don't do the naughty step and I don't do time out is I think it pushes them away and it affects your connection with your child and also can have some pretty horrible kind of psychological effects so when you send your child away after they've done something wrong they immediately feel shameful you know they feel really bad about themselves um, or in some cases your child might laugh at you in which case they're probably feeling fearful or nervous or whatever and that's their reaction and you know sometimes in the moment when you're sending your child away um, it can be quite an angry moment for both of you you can maybe use words like um, you, what you did was really bad you know you're a really bad kid you know, that was so naughty look how naughty you are you know I can't believe you did that that was so terrible you know these types of things stick with them and what they experience in their environment what they experience from you as their Kind of loving parent the things that you say they take on as belief about themselves it can affect their self-worth you know if you say things like that like you're bad they start to believe hey I'm a bad kid you know I'm bad and that overtakes maybe some of the positive things that you want them to feel about themselves you know like they're really capable they're kind they're compassionate they're really helpful um, they're adventurous you know whatever they are or whether whatever you kind of want them to believe about themselves um, that self-worth and kind of harnessing that and building it is so important in young children so we really have to be careful about you know, how we approach these difficult situations and um, kind of that connection we have with our children. So my fourth reason is that it takes away from what they've done and they focus more on being angry at you than what they've actually done wrong. So putting my child in the naughty step, sending them away once they've done something wrong it's really just going to make them angry at me. You know, it's really going to make my daughter annoyed at me. Instead of thinking, oh, I did something wrong, I'm being sent away. The focus isn't on that anymore. It's on the fact that you sent them away. They're annoyed at you. you know, they're resentful towards you. Um, and they just sit there being angry at you rather than thinking about or learning from that difficult moment or you know that thing that they did that wasn't right. So yeah, it kind of stops them from understanding exactly what happened. Um, and they're just more likely to do it again. So my last reason, number five, is honestly, it just makes me feel like crap. If I was to send my daughter away, you know, in a really difficult moment, um, I don't think I could do it, you know, without feeling some sort of like anger or annoyance or, and she would see that in my face, you know, in the way that I spoke to her. 
in the way that I put her down on the step or whatever, it would just make me feel crappy, to be honest. Um, I'd kind of feel like I was shying away from my parenting duties, you know, my my job as a guide to help her understand. I'd just be sending her away because she did something wrong and I just don't want her around to deal with it. Um, and yeah, it would just make me feel utterly crappy. So I don't entertain those kind of things because I just don't believe in them, which is why I'm doing this video to explain why. When I approach a situation with my child, I always want to approach it with love and kindness. When I wake up in the morning, that is my intention for the day. You know, even if I haven't slept very well, if I can feel all the pressures building of the things that I need to do in the day, and I know that I won't be able to get them done because, you know, I'm, I'm focusing on my daughter and we're playing and we're doing all these things together, and I know that it works because that is my approach that has always been my approach since she was a young child and she's pretty well behaved you know she still tests all the time and I don't think that stops you know when they turn three when they turn four I think that's a constant thing and finally I want to say you might not agree with me you might agree with me you might think awesome yeah great video and I hope you do but you might not you might say that's total crap and I don't agree with you and I love the noise step why am I watching this video I'm not going to subscribe and that's totally fine, you know, you don't have to agree with me. One thing I always say as a parent is, I understand how hard it is to be a mum, and I don't want to judge other mums for how they cope with this difficult, you know, stage, um, or the challenging developments of their child. You know, whatever approach you take, that's, you know, that's your approach, and you've decided to do that for a reason. You know, so I don't judge, we just deal with situations based on the tools that we have at our disposal you know as parents so it's totally fine if you don't agree with me totally cool um and you know you just do you as a parent that's that's it but the reason i want to continue to make videos ultimately is i want to help uh, mums new mums new parents you know whoever watches my videos just to build that kind of authentic journey into motherhood you know find what works for you because I don't follow strictly Montessori, as you probably know from my other videos. I'm inspired by lots of different approaches. You know, I love respectful parenting, but would I say I'm a 100% respectful parent? No. You know, would I say that I 100% follow Montessori? No. You know, I like lots of different approaches, um, and I found my way as a parent, and I'm still challenging myself, I'm still working on being a better parent. But ultimately, it's about doing you. It's about doing what works for you. Anyway, regardless of that bit of waffle at the end, I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, yeah, do subscribe if you are new to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.